Hello and konnichiwa. I am North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. North Dakota is a beautiful state, rich in resources, and we play an important role in feeding and fueling the world. Our natural resources, along with our incredible people, create many strategic and attractive value-added opportunities for Japanese companies to invest in North Dakota. Before becoming governor, the business world gave me an opportunity to engage with international partners around the globe for over three decades. And I have long admired our Japanese friends for their leadership and ingenuity in business. Japan has an enormous opportunity to engage with North Dakota to build long-term strategic relationships to ensure Japan's security in both energy and food long into the future. North Dakota is a large geographic state, equaling about one half of Japan's total size. Yet our population is tiny in comparison. Only 780,000 citizens call North Dakota home. But we are highly productive. Our state is one of the top energy producers in the United States. And we lead the nation in production of over a dozen major agricultural crops. Our administration is committed to build this long-term strategic relationship with Japan. In the summer of 2022, I will lead a trade mission to Japan, and we are excited to establish new and expand existing long-term mutually beneficial relationships with leading Japanese companies. North Dakota is a world leader in agriculture with more than 16 million hectares currently in production. Our soybean and corn production are showing unprecedented growth as demand for vegetable protein and renewable biofuels increase. And our world-class grass-fed beef industry produces protein to help feed the world. In addition to feeding the world, North Dakota is powering the world as a global leader in energy production with our all of the above energy policy, investing in reliable clean energy from both mineral and renewable resources. The Williston Basin, home to the world famous Bakken and Three Forks geologic formations is centered here in North Dakota. And we have become one of the largest oil and gas producing states in the United States, rivaling and exceeding many oil producing nations. In addition to oil, we produce an abundance of clean burning natural gas. And a natural market for this natural gas and its many valuable byproducts is Japan. Our rapidly growing gas resources present a huge opportunity to capture and market this valuable resource. North Dakota is also home to the largest known deposit of lignite coal in the world, allowing the state to be a large exporter of energy and driving our commitment to lead the nation in clean coal technology, including carbon capture, utilization, and storage to support low cost, reliable, dispatchable, low carbon base load electricity. North Dakota is also leading the way in renewable energy with a multitude of existing projects in wind, ethanol, and more, with well over $10 billion in the queue for future renewable projects. Joining our Japanese friends, hydrogen production for energy and agricultural purposes is on the forefront of our energy development agenda. In June, we were pleased to announce a venture with Mitsubishi Power to develop the largest clean hydrogen production hub in North America. With our abundant rich gas resources, we expect to see much additional long-term investments in hydrogen projects here in North Dakota. Recently, I challenged North Dakota to become carbon neutral by 2030, all while maintaining our hydrocarbon production. North Dakota possesses unique geologic formations, ideally suited for carbon capture, utilization, and storage. 
We plan to utilize this geology to accept carbon from neighboring states for storage and utilization, enhancing our already tremendous oil and gas recovery. In the more distant future, this will also create opportunities to use carbon stores in new business ventures. While the western side of our state is making monumental strides in energy, the eastern side of our state is home to a burgeoning tech corridor, including a very large Microsoft campus. In Fargo and Grand Forks, you can find advancements in medical, biotech, life sciences, ag tech, and two world-class universities. You will also find opportunity in our commitment at Grand Sky to being the unmanned aerial systems capital of the world, and at Grand Farm to be the home of the first fully autonomous farm. A strong relationship between us opens the door to exciting opportunities for Japanese and North Dakota businesses and entrepreneurs. We would be thrilled to welcome you to North Dakota to see for yourself what North Dakota has to offer. Thank you again for your time and your interest in our great state. We are open for business and home to a multitude of incredible opportunities. So please contact our team should you have any questions or need further information. Best wishes and I hope to see you in Japan in the summer of 2022. Hello, I'm Drew Combs, the Executive Director of the North Dakota Trade Office. It is a pleasure to speak with you today about strengthening and building an already strong trading alliance with Japan. It is a special honor of mine to be involved in this mission. In my career, Japan was the first country outside of my own that I resided in. That experience helped me build a career and has had a lasting impact on the person I am today. I will always be grateful for the experience and knowledge I learned while in Japan. We are truly humbled by the inter interest shown in our state by our Japanese friends and counterparts. Statistically, Japan is the fourth largest trading partner with North Dakota. In 2020, North Dakota exported nearly $250 million of products to Japan. These products included cereals, oil seeds, grains, aircraft, and machinery products just to name a few. Along with these, we firmly believe that there are other opportunities that exist for Japan in collaboration with North Dakota. As Governor Burgum mentioned, North Dakota is a powerhouse when it comes to energy. The state ranks number two in the United States for crude oil production and has a seemingly endless supply of natural gas, which is even more impressive when you consider that in 2007, just 15 years ago, the state ranked number eight in the nation. Our energy resources don't stop there. We are blessed with the largest known deposit of lignite coal in the world that produces affordable, clean, and reliable energy for over 100 years. We are also a windy state and a top producer of wind energy, producing over 3,600 megawatts of electricity from wind power alone. Bringing agriculture into the, into the picture, North Dakota is home to five ethanol facilities, one of which uses Japanese technology to provide clean and renewable fuel. It is also worth noting that this facility is the first to tap into our unique geology to store carbon, leading the way for North Dakota's ambitious carbon capture and sequestration program. With this program, the state of North Dakota plans on being the leader in, in carbon capture and sequestration. It is a concerted effort to be on the forefront of the renewable energy trend. North Dakota is also home to two biorefineries with an additional refinery in the planning phase. All of these are just samples of a robust energy sector and the opportunities which exist in abundance in North Dakota. But before I leave energy, I would be remiss not to mention uh, the wave of interest being generated in North Dakota in becoming the, a major hydrogen hub. While this is a relatively new concept in the US, North Dakota is already emerging as a leader in the hydrogen space. As seen previously, our strength is in our soil. In this case, it's not 
not our world-class geology, but it's what lies on top as North Dakota's roots are firmly embedded in agriculture. Our farmers embrace modern farming practices such as using technology to monitor fields for efficiency in nutrition, rainfall, and pest control to ensure premium quality products with competitive pricing. North Dakota is a proud producer of over 50 crops, many of which we place number one or number two in production in the United States. As the governor mentioned, North Dakota produces several crops that are enjoyed, enjoyed daily at Japanese homes and restaurants. We're, we are a large producer of not only soybeans and corn, but we also produce vast amounts of pulses, such as peas, lentils, and dry beans, as well as sunflowers, canola, and flax, just to name a few. Value-added processing and manufacturing are rapidly increasing the opportunities in North Dakota. The current value-added processors create safe and high-quality products specifically designed to align with distributor and consumer demands. The state is home to several processing and milling enterprises that focus on the needs of the distributor to ensure adequate levels of nutrition, protein, fiber content, and allow for customization. Many of them work directly with farmers to help meet the needs of the buyer. Livestock production is also big business in North Dakota, with beef raised in every, every North Dakota county. In fact, cattle outnumber the people two to one. In addition to the large cattle population, North Dakota is home to over 12,000 head of the famous North American bison, which is utilized for their meat and quality leather products. Technology is also at the forefront of North Dakota's growth. North Dakota leads the nation as a hub for unmanned aerial systems technology with open skies, skilled training programs for pilots, and advancement in technology and applications. The UAS industry in North Dakota is pushing the boundaries with investment in beyond visual line of sight, operations, and testing sites due to having less air traffic than other states and is home to the nation's first UAS business aviation park. The applications are endless for UAS technology. Some focus areas in North Dakota include aerial surveillance and military uses, hanging power lines, assessing crop growth and conditions, and monitoring pipelines. Within the past 10 years, the information technology sector has grown by 11%. This is primarily due to the growing number of startup tech companies and increased fo focus on education from our state universities. With nearly 4,000 businesses specializing in some form of IT, the state benefits from an estimated $3 billion added to the state's annual GDP. Growth is primarily seen in autonomous systems, cybersecurity, integrations with agricultural applications, and advanced manufacturing processes. IT applications continue to grow and integrate with existing industries in North Dakota. With so many industries growing, North Dakota has an abundance of expertise, products and technology available for export. Numerous businesses within the state are looking for ways to grow and expand globally. And with aligned paradigms, Japan may find mutually beneficial opportunities to work with North Dakota in the near future. As can be seen with recent activities with Mitsubishi Power and their partners, Bakken Energy. Thank you, and I look forward to speaking with you in the future about the great opportunities in North Dakota.